Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all of you guys. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, how are you doing? Hope you guys are doing marvelous. I wish you guys the very best. Hope you guys are as excited as I am for the beginning of the holidays, right? We just recently experienced Halloween, which obviously on this side we celebrate greatly and kicking off, getting excited and pumped for the holidays. I wish you guys the very best. Let's get into your reading. Now, before we get um, into your messages, Aries, for those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations, um, you guys can now go to our online store and book on there for the 30-minute telephone consultation or the video live reading. Uh, please keep in mind that uh, seating is uh, available for now, but it is limited. Uh, we are now scheduling for um, December and January. The moment that we become full on every single slot, you guys won't be able to book until further notice. Just letting you guys know, just an FYI. So if you guys are definitely wanting to get your readings for the beginning of the year, now is the time to go on there. I try to make it as easier for you guys uh, to be able to book as soon as... Um, as soon as the as soon as you guys reach out, we will definitely be personally contacting you to schedule the appointment. Um, like I said, seating is limited, so um, don't be surprised if you guys go on there and you guys can no longer book. Um, we have been extremely booked all year. Um, not gonna lie, and the holidays, as you guys know, the end of the year is the busiest for us. So, just uh, giving you guys an FYI. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what are the messages that are coming through for Aries, Sun, Moon, uh, Venus, and Rising. What are the messages that you have for them? What is it that they need to know at this present time for the month of November 2021? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get into it. Your first card here, Aries, is the Eight of Swords. The next card here is the Devil card, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, wow, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so Aries, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you guys are closing a lot of chapters. Uh, when we're talking about toxicity. These are cycles or reoccurring cycles that you have been going through for the past couple of months. Um, a bit of feeling frustrated because there is a bit of uh, a feeling of not being able to wiggle around or not being able to um, fully be able to experience, right? The goals and aspirations that uh, you're wanting to bring forth. For some of you guys, it is a situation that you've been dealing with a karmic or someone from the past um, that is very toxic or that has become very toxic, creating a lot of blockages in your life, Aries, but that's no longer going to be the case. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Capricorn in the month of December, um, as we do have here the Devil card. What they're trying to communicate, Aries, is um, you have a tendency when we're talking about goals, when we're talking about aspirations, when we're talking about wanting to manifest certain things in our life, um, it's almost like you get in this obsessive type of energy. And that's there's nothing wrong with that when we're talking about goals and aspirations. But it's almost like you fixate on how you assume things are going to unfold for you. And what Spirit is telling you is, yes, use that energy in order to be able to manifest quicker. But when we're talking about fixating on how you think it's gonna come, that's when you create resistance. So what they're telling you is be more open. Um, don't set yourself up, like don't put all your eggs in one basket, especially for those of you guys that are trying to manifest a lot of financial stability or wanting to uh, manifest emotional stability, whether it's in relationships or whether it's in your finances. What they're telling you is keep your heart open. Yes, use this type of energy to really be able to create traction, right? To get the ball rolling. 
But then once you've put it out to the universe or once you've put the effort, the energy towards, um, you know, if you're wanting to ascend at the work or job that you're currently at, um, put the work in, do what you have to do to shine, right? To, to show them that you're capable of taking on more responsibilities. Um, but the moment you do, it's, it's almost like this is how it's supposed to happen. And what Spirit is telling us, no, that's how you create resistance and that's how you create blockages. So there's a lot of anxiousness in regards to wanting to manifest something in your life. Um, and again, it's a recurring cycle. It's something that, uh, like I said, you have a tendency of overdoing. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, Aries. When it comes to manifestations, there's nothing wrong with obsessing um, over the desired outcome. Just don't worry of how it's going to happen or how you assume it's going to unfold. Because the moment you do that, you're creating resistance, doubt, and fear. And what happens? Things start to come up. Things that perhaps weren't even there. So what they're telling you is don't create um, blockages that are unnecessary. I do see great expansion here. Um, when we're talking about finances, when we're talking about careers, we have the Ace of Pentacles here with the Six of Wands. So this is victory. This is uh, being able to um, get an opportunity that you've earned. You've earned through hard um, and hard ever effort. Sorry, hard effort and um, really. It's been a struggle for some of you guys, and I feel like there is a feeling of accomplishment. There's a feeling of, uh, you know, finally this is unfolding. Finally, I'm receiving this blessing. Finally, I'm able to experience on a grander scale um, the benefits of my labor, right? The fruits of my labor. So what Spirit is telling you is just be open to these opportunities that are or, are, or will be unfolding for you. Now, your next card here is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is telling you, let go again about your fears. Let go of feeling like um, things are not happening as quickly as you would want them to. Uh, right at the center, the Devil card is all of the mundane, everything that is connected to the material. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is being focused in that of financial stability or financial growth. And the Six of Wands is victory. Right at the corners, we have doubts, right? These are swords. These are our thoughts. These are uh, the overthinking, the overanalyzing, the feeling like you're stuck and not fully being able to trust yourself or trust the process. So Spirit is telling you, let go of that. The moment you let go of that, there's no longer resistance and you will be unfolding and experiencing the blessings being bestowed upon you. All right, Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.